Delicious in Dungeon, or Dungeon Meshi, is a manga written by Ryoko Kui that follows adventurers who, in order to keep their stamina up in the dungeon to save the main character's sister, must defeat, cook, and eat all sorts of funny little monsters. This series has become quite critically acclaimed for its excellent artwork that houses diverse character designs and so many small but cool details to the mechanics of this series' fantasy world. Though if you know me, you know I'm more likely to get attached to the characters and themes of my stories over the simple mechanics of how everything works, and luckily, Dungeon Meshi has a great cast of absolutely not normal people. Sure, on the surface you have your typical archetypes of magical elf, tiny guy, dwarf, a log of the blood, knight in shining armor, but Dungeon Meshi plays around of these archetypes through added personality and subversion. Like when you see our main hero Leos, you expect him to be the most stoic plain brick of wood to ever brick, but in reality, he's not just a stoic leader, but a calm and gentle presence who is really hyper fixated on monsters of all kinds, which helps him lead the party through the dungeon. Some people view his hyperfixation as a problem or use it to dismiss him as a weirdo who can't contribute to society, which as a person who is loud and passionate about my obsessions, it's a bit close to home. Now, Chilchuk is the closest we have to a straight man in the main cast of his snarky quips at others' expense, but he still subverts his little people archetype by being the only member of the party to have a wife and kids back home to take care of, which is the entire reason he's adventuring in the first place. Then you have Senshi, who's one of my favorite characters in this series. First off, Peak character design. I can just look at this guy and he makes me smile. Second, and most importantly, he's a man of discipline, trying to give back to the dungeon as thanks for the meals it provides the party. He's the guy who sets up the entire premise of cooking monsters in the first place, but for so long he's been alone in his hobbies. But with the other party members to bounce off of, he can now share the joy of monster dishes with more people, leading to new and exciting experiences. Finally, to round off the main cast, is everyone's favorite, Marcel. She starts off very agitated and outspoken about how cruddy the situation she's in is. The art in the manga and the animation of the show do a great job depicting the huge amount of stress and anxiety this girl goes through on a daily basis. A part of the reason she's stressed is because she initially despises the very thought of eating monsters, but reluctantly does so anyway to help save Leos' sister and her best friend? Question mark? Though, through getting closer to the party and eating this monster food, she managed just to step outside her comfort zone to not just appreciate the unique dishes since she cooks up, but to help her become more accepting and understanding of others, which I believe is a core tenet of Dungeon Meshi. And those are the four main characters of Dungeon Meshi, and I love them a lot. While they may bicker and banter often, this core cast grows to become welcoming and accepting of one another's interests, personalities, and even struggles. While outsiders to the party may think they're weird, the party will shut them up by using their skills, quirks, and passion to eventually save the day. What I'm about to express is probably unintentional, but as someone of autism and ADHD, I connected heavily to these fellas. This cast reminded me that just because you have a different upbringing, a disability, or have a niche hobby, that doesn't mean you should be blocked off from life's pleasures. You can succeed not in spite of yourself, but because you are yourself. Thanks for watching, but before I stop, my friend Nessie wanted to say some thoughts on this series, so here she is performing for you. I love Dungeon Meshi because it's about food, and that's a very creative idea for an anime. I love Fallon and Marcel because they're very silly and gay, and also Chilchuck is very funny because my friends call him Union Chris because I think that's a funny name for him. What if it was called Dungeon Me Messi and... Fallon and Marcel fucking sloppily kissed for the entire 30 minute episode. <laughs>